Hey, this is Andrew from SciChart. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to add a SciChart surface to an HTML page using SciChart.js, high performance JavaScript charts. Go ahead and open up Visual Studio Code and hit Open Folder. I'm going to create a new folder in here and call it Tutorial 1. The first thing we want to do is open up a terminal and type the command npm init. Choose all of the defaults here, including index.js. The next thing we want to do is we want to install a package. So let's use npm install SciChart. This will install SciChart to the package.json here that npm has just created. We're also going to need some more packages to make this simple application work. So let's do npm install save dev webpack. There's a couple more that we're going to need. So let's also install webpack dev server. And the third one is webpack CLI. And the last package to install is copy webpack plugin. Excellent. So the next thing we want to do is go ahead and create a configuration file. So we want to add webpack.config.js to the root of the project. You can find the code for webpack config.js off of our website. But if you already use webpack, all you need to do is copy over the scichart2d.data and scichart2d wasm files to the build directory. Next, go ahead and create a folder called source. And in source, we want to create an index.html and we want to create an index.js. The HTML file is simple boilerplate. All we have in here that's special is a div with the ID SciChart root. This is where we're going to add our SciChart surface. In order to declare and add the SciChart surface into HTML, let's do this in JavaScript. Start off by creating an async function called init sidechart. And we want to call this immediately. We're going to need some imports, so I'm going to go ahead and import sidechart surface from sidechart charting visuals sidechart surface. And while I'm here, I'm also going to import numeric axis from sidechart charting visuals axis numeric axis. In order to declare the sidechart surface, we need to call a function called sidechart surface dot create. And sidechart surface create uh, accepts a single parameter, which is the string of the div ID that you want to place the chart. This returns a promise. So what we're going to do is we're going to get out the parameters sidechart surface and wasm context by awaiting that promise. The SciChart surface is the actual SciChart chart control, and the WASM context is a WebAssembly context that's been created with it. These two are paired. Anytime you add a series or an axis or data to this chart, use the same WASM context. In order to add an axis, go ahead and create an X axis by calling new numeric axis and passing in WASM context. And the y-axis is very similar. We then add these to the side chart surface by adding them to the x-axis collection and the y-axis collection. That's all the code, but before we can get this to work, we have to go back to our package JSON and add a couple of scripts. So let's add a script in here called build, and this is simply going to call webpack and another one called start, and this one's going to call webpack dev server. There we go. If we've done everything correctly, we should be able to call npm start. And once it's built, if you visit localhost 8080, you'll see a SciChart surface has been created and added to the page. Join us in tutorial number two, where we're going to go on and show you how to add data to this chart, including different series types. And further tutorials will show you zooming, panning, legends, annotations, real-time updates, and more.